G'day there everyone, Daniel Anderson here. Welcome to another SharePoint Deep Dive where we're gonna be tackling an approach to customize the SharePoint command bar using some JSON formatting. Now you might ask why we would want to uh, uh, customize the, the out of the box of the default options in, in our scenario in a document library. Well, th there are three things that I'm gonna point out uh, that might be of benefit to you and it's good to have an understanding of what you can do. Now, the first one is all around simplified uh, or creating a simplified interface for your users when they come to your document library or list. Now, the scenario we could think of here is around a document library used by, uh, I guess, a more non-technical staff. Um, and a customization option might be that we change the upload or the, the term that's displayed on the upload button to something like add a new document, which might make a little bit more sense to uh, non-technical users. Now, the benefits here are around reducing confusion by hiding uh, you know, different advanced options. We can make the primary actions more prominent and it improves uh, the user adoption through this more simplified user interface. Now, the second uh, scenario, or the second uh, reason or potential uh, reason we would want to do go down this path is around, let's think about department specific terminology. So if we're in the HR department uh, and we navigate to a, a specific document library, we might want to use specific organizational terms. So an example, again, could be instead of the new button uh, or the word, uh, the term new, we could use something like create per, uh, personnel record if we're in a library that is uh, that contains personnel records or something like that. Now, another way is, uh, or another reason could be around compliance and governance. So the scenario could be around a regulated document repository or something like that, where we might wanna hide the delete button or um, hide the move button or the copy button or something like that, so just to, to put them out of, out of somebody's uh, view or, or the visibility of those. Another one also that I've found myself using quite a bit is hiding the sync button. So we've got two options in the command bar where we can add shortcut to OneDrive, but we've also got that sync button. So from a change management point of view, we might want to direct users to to use uh, add shortcut to OneDrive instead of sync. So we can change or we can add the high or we can hide the sync button from that command bar. So that's what we're gonna take a look at uh, right now and how we would go about doing that. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to, and you see I'm in a projects library here. I might jump over to my policies library and you can see there's all my policies. Now. What we might wanna do, and we're gonna tackle this first option um, straight up. So we're going to simplify the user interface here. So instead of the upload, what we're going to do is we're going to say, uh, add a new policy. So I'm just gonna grab some JSON code and we do that in the, 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 the format of, or we format the view, all right? So if we jump up to our all documents and we go format current view, we jump into advanced mode and you can see here that we've got the options to paste in some code or some JSON code here, okay? So I've just pasted in this code here and you can see the format. So I've got the command bar props and I'll link to the reference uh, website as well um, in, the, in, the, uh, in the description of this video. Um, it's also been published through the newsletter. So if you, if you haven't just subscribed to the newsletter, head over to danielanderson.io and pop your email address in there and uh, you'll start receiving these, uh, these deep dives directly into your inbox as well. Now you can see I've got the command bar props, I've got the commands here. Now the command that I'm looking at here, and let me just remove uh, actually, I'll leave the sync. One. I'll leave those there for now. Now we can see that we've got the key, which is upload. So you can see that that relates to this upload button in the command bar right there. Now what we're going to do is we're going to change the text. So instead of uh, upload, we're going to say add new policy. All right, and then the icon name, we could change an icon uh, if we wanted to. I am going to just keep it as upload and it is going to be primary. So what we can do is we can hit the preview button 
and you can see that that upload has now uh, changed to add new policy. All right. Now we could also do that potentially to the new button. So if the key was new and we hit preview, then you can see that we've got that option there uh, to change that to add new policy. Uh, and it is on the key, which is uh, representing the new button here. Now, like I said before, we might want to um, do some other things. So we might want to hide some uh, different buttons, all right? So you can see that we've got the hide, the sync button hidden here as well. So if we change, let's just change this to false and we'll hit preview. You can see that that sync button gets re-added next to the add shortcut to OneDrive. But in our case, we want to use add shortcut to OneDrive. So we want to set this to true and then we can hit the preview and then that sync button also has disappeared. Okay, so I'll just delete this one here. We'll hit the preview and we will then hit save. Now, the other scenario that we went through as well, which is exact, pretty much exactly the same as this, right? So uh, we were looking at delete, copy and move. So what we might want to do is do the same thing from a, uh, you know, hiding those options. So we can say, let's, uh, let's go delete, right? So we'll hide the delete. So we'll hit preview, we'll hit save, and we'll just close this. Now, when I select this button here, you can see that I don't have the option to delete this uh, document anymore, or well, the button is, uh, is not there. All right, so we could do the same thing with maybe copy or move or something like that. Let's have a look at our reference and let's just do a quick search for move. And we've got, it's there it is there. So it's move to, so if we now jump back into here, we'll go into our format current view and then we'll jump down to move two, we'll hit save, and we'll cross this off, we'll hit this, and you can now see that that move two has hidden as well. Now, if I jump back into that reference, so if I open up the, the reference uh, list here, uh, you can see that I've got copy two as well. So I could obviously do exactly the same thing, jump into all docs, go to format current view, I've got move two, We'll just grab this, we'll paste that there. This time we want to go to copy to, we'll save this, we'll close it, and now I'll select the document and now move to and copy to uh, have been hidden as well. So there's a few different, uh, fairly easy, straightforward use cases there that you could use to customize the command bar and the buttons of the of the command, uh, command bar as well, uh, just to give a little bit more uh, enhancement to the user experience of your SharePoint lists and libraries. So thanks for watching this edition of the Deep Dive uh, and I'll see you in the next episode.